Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony!
update Vidan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper channel. The tower's secure, thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now. But getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zoo's hope and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It, it's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? 
No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. It hurts so much when I think about what we've lost. So many have died. We should... Oh. We should flee. No. We can't do that. Commander, is there something I can help you with? I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak to Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have to go. So long, Commander. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or one of the others. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. I have to go. I wish you luck. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. 
This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Goratu Heranon Maldinest Got Inost Letra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Goratu is my homeworld, Heranon my clan's country, Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fi Dan. He, he knows the colony better than me. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on... I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. No, please, I, I need to get back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. Tell me about Zoo's Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fi Dan if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Goodbye. Commander.
Oh god, they're everywhere! This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? 
You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out. Again, Commander. I killed the Big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Unless you've got something important, shoot. I'm trying to jury-rig something to replace the missing power cells. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are my concern. The Geth are yours. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. 
I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent mind expects to see. Can't get a fix on it. Any sign of movement? Lisbon could still be in there. It's only been a few days. Must be close enough to see us. Forget them. We need to find the gap. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? 
She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. Why do people always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. They wiped out our defenses in minutes. We've Why build a colony if you don't intend to defend it? Uh, please, keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. Exogeny Corp. is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. Tell me about yourself, Jean. 
Me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the Home Office to get me off this rock. Do you have any idea why the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. I'm going. Uh, please be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't want any unnecessary damage to the facility. Commander, what can I do for you? Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... unless they're looking for something. deployed.
This looks like a one-way drop, Commander. Sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here. Take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope Outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. 
through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker. Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorium. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of Species 37 is limited, or non-existent. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division. Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode.
Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were using this room as some kind of religious temple? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. This claw is identical to the last. We'll have to keep going. Ship is gone.
exceptional, Commander. The fields will be down. We can go deal with this Thorian creature now. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of Geth, and end things off with a huge crash. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create.
up. Get away from that radio. What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop! Stop! They're over! You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah, no one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. How are we supposed to fight? It's almost time, isn't it? You shouldn't be wasting- I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good.
certainly wasn't human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's go. Definitely protecting the ship, Commander. We've got to move one of those cargo blocks. Right to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What... It... This was not covered by my training manuals. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic.
Invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth!
That's it. Bag him and tag. Suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. 
every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Do you know what the Conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the Conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the Cypher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the Conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome. Magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. so much. Now Exogeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Oh, I hope the new money doesn't spoil this place. You won't recognize this place when we're done. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. 
I wish you well in your hunt. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Thank you for everything you did. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Pharos will be back in shape and I can't believe the colony held out as long as it did. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. I'm free. I can't believe I'm free. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I could think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. Thank you for freeing us. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. 
You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Both of you, settle down. We can handle this like mature adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. I never meant for you to get hurt. But Liara's the one I really care about. Hey, we're all grown-ups here, right? Hope you two will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation.